Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about system status report. If you have no idea what it is, it's this page you can see right now on your screen. And here you'll find uh, your server settings listed in this table. To access this page, uh, go to settings and then click plugin name. Then select system status troubleshooting page. Let's see first the contents of the table. It has four columns. The first column is the option name. The second one is the recommended value. The value that this option is supposed to have for the best performance of your website. The third column is the actual value, the value that you currently have on your website or on your server. And the fourth column is the status that can result in a case status or the warning. And our goal here is to fix all the warning uh, options and you can do that by editing the value to match the recommended value. To fix the server settings where it says warning, you should simply contact your hosting support and ask them to fix it. Simply copy the setting name and let them know about the recommended value. However, sometimes they won't allow you to edit these values and usually that's when you are on a basic hosting plan. But don't worry, even in these cases, you can still use our plugins. However, it is highly recommended to uh, match these settings to the recommended values, not only because of our plugins, it will also help you to have a best performance for the Divi team and a WordPress as well. So if you can upgrade to a better hosting plan if needed, uh, we recommend doing that. Let me now comment a few of these settings, but I do encourage you to Google all of these to understand what each of these uh, does. Sometimes people have problems uploading files on the server. Sometimes when you're trying to install one of our plugins, you are not able to upload JSON file or it is very slow. Each process on your website consumes some memory. Memory limit is the maximum amount of memory that process can use. Once the limit is exceeded, the process ends and the website might go down. You might have seen this already uh, and when this happens, the website gives 500 HTTP error. So to make sure this won't happen, uh, set this to this recommended value or more. Then we have post max size and upload max file size and these two are self-explanatory in order to upload big files have this at least on 64 or more megabytes. Uh, these two limits uh, upload by file size however we also have max execution time and max input time that limits the upload process by the time. In other words even if you have the file size uh, limit increased, if the upload process consumes too much time, uh, these two are going to end that process anyway. So make sure that uh, these two are as per recommended values as well. And also we have max input bars. This simply limits the requests number on your server. So even if there are no limits on the upload, uh, size or the time if there are too many requests on your website at the same time this is going to uh, restrict that and uh, to forbid that too many requests it's good to increase this number but only as per recommended values or similar don't increase this number too much but because then it might be mal used there's a popular website attack called service of denial attack where the attacker uh, creates a huge number of uh, requests on your website and because the website can't handle that it breaks and goes down. So have this at some reasonable number and you should be good. And that's it, thanks for watching.